Okay. All right. Oh, hang on one second. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching Apocalypse Tips with Lester Pips on my uh, computer in the other room. Well, welcome to the Quarantinis New Year's Eve Bacchanal. I'm your host, John Hess, and I can't wait for this to be over. Um, I don't know if anybody's watching. Uh, I certainly hope that you are, but uh, in the event that you're not, well, that's just too bad. Uh, I'm going to. The event that you're not. Oh my God! Again with the uh, with the computer. Uh, I'm going Shoot. To the event that you're not. Oh my God. Oh, okay. That's better. I'm just gonna open the. Uh, I'm just gonna open the Twitch feed on my phone, so that I can keep an eye. This is going great. On the chat room. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Well, listen. I'm uh, I'm really uh, grateful to the pack for uh, I'm really grateful to the pack for giving me this time slot. I uh, I don't really know what I what I plan to do, uh, but we're already 60 seconds in. <laughs> I haven't even had one drink. How do I? I'm really grateful. All right, bunch of nonsense. Okay. <laughs> Well, I'm really grateful to the pack for this time slot. Uh, I don't exactly know what I'm going to do, but we're going to have a good time anyway. Uh, and I'm going to try to teach you some cocktails uh, and possibly have a few special guests join me. Honestly, I didn't book anybody. I just sent out an email with the Zoom link to dozens of really funny friends. So in the event that they do not show up, I'm just going to drink a lot by myself. and We're going to have a good time. So. I was going to start out with some champagne cocktails because it's New Year's and what else uh, can you do? It's, there's nothing better. But yesterday I received an email from my dear father with uh, some cocktail recipes uh, that I guess a city of New Haven where they live, Bulletin, uh, sent out for New Year's. And um, one of them particularly caught my eye. It's called the Dusk or From Dusk Till Dawn or Dusk Till Dawn. It's a bourbon cocktail with some homemade cinnamon syrup and chocolate bitters. It seems as if it's a very rich, wintry riff on an old fashioned. So we're gonna start out. Wow, this goes so much more efficiently when I don't have guests. Maybe this shouldn't be a panel show. Maybe this should just be normally a, uh, just a monologue. Well, nevertheless, let's start with two ounces of a good bourbon. I like Buffalo Trace for most bourbon cocktails. It's a good sort of standard middle of the road bourbon that doesn't cost too much and for its price point is absolutely delicious. It's a, it's a good bourbon. The recipe suggested Basil Hayden's. I don't have that. And I also don't love using that in cocktails. I think Basil Hayden's is a really special bourbon and I don't think that it uh, necessarily needs to go in cocktails. I think it's better on its own. So, got that. And now the recipe called for three quarters of an ounce of homemade cinnamon syrup. However, I'm just going to add a half an ounce because this cinnamon syrup that I made uh, is from a different recipe um, and it's a bit richer. It's got twice the sugar than it normally would have. So um, I think that cutting it down a quarter of an ounce is the smart thing to do in this case. I don't want it to be too sweet. I don't want it to be too syrupy. And in fact, but for the cinnamon flavor, if it was just sugar, I would use regular sugar and not syrup. Um, I think an old fashioned is better with solid syrup. So that's just a um, little lesson from me. And then finally, we're going to add four dashes of chocolate bitters. And in this case, a dash is one dropper. I've never had this cocktail. I'm excited to try it. We'll see how it goes. So there's our drink. It's a stirred cocktail. I'm going to go grab some ice. I'm going to go grab my rocks glass. And we're going to get going. Okay, 
Here we go. It's very elegant. First, let's ice our glass. Uh, I think it's really important to keep your glasses chilling while you're not making your drinks, or I'm sorry, while you're making your drinks or while the cocktail's not being served. Um, because uh, the drink should be stinging cold to the very last sip. And um, keeping a glass chilled is one of the best ways to do that. So this is a stirred cocktail. Can already, oh God, I can already smell it. The chocolate bitters are really strong. It might be better with three, but we'll see. What I read from the recipe was that this is meant to um, really bring out the flavors that are special in bourbon. Um, I think an old fashioned does that pretty well, but the chocolate and the cinnamon should give uh, a nice lift to the, excuse me, to the caramel and the vanilla um, of an old fashioned. So let's stir it up and see what we can do. Nicely diluted, but not over diluted, you know, just as chilled as it is, um, you know, uh, give it a little bit of water. because The water unlocks some flavor uh, and it makes it just a little bit more uh, uh, palatable. But you still want to know that you're drinking an alcoholic beverage, in my opinion. So let's strain it into our rocks glass over fresh ice. Now, obviously, I prefer a large ice cube if you don't have that. It's fine, who cares? Um, it says to garnish with a cinnamon stick. I don't have any of those, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, you could also garnish it with a with an orange peel. I, yeah, whatever. Okay. Ooh. Interesting. Um, oh. <gasps> Wow, okay, that cocktail, holy shit. Uh, that cocktail has the best aftertaste of any drink I've ever had in my life. Um, it's absolutely delicious on the back end. On the front end, it's a little too syrupy and all in all, I don't think that you get enough bourbon. So I might cut down both the bitters and the syrup in favor of just a little more bourbon flavor or I would add a half an ounce of bourbon. Uh, nevertheless, it is delicious, but yeah, it's just got a little too much syrupy body to it, which I, I think is, mm, uh, it's not for me, but yeah, the chocolatey aftertaste is unbelievable. It's really something special. So this is the From Dusk Till Dawn. Uh, let me, you know, let me give credit to the bar that uh, came up with this recipe. This is the Dusk Till Dawn from Westville, Connecticut, just outside of New Haven, Connecticut's uh, uh, Mexican restaurant, Camacho Garaje. Um, honestly, they might pronounce it garage, it's Connecticut, but it does seem like it's Mexican owned. So I have no idea. I, I, I'm sorry, I've never, I don't think I've ever been there. But anyway, thank you to my dad for providing that. Um, it's really good, I like it. I really like it. So um, anyway, that's uh, that's that, I guess. I'm gonna keep drinking it and uh, really should have thought of something to talk about while I, um, while I drink these drinks. Oh man, I really hope at least a couple of friends stop by. It's fine if they don't, honestly. Um, you know, oh, we got, we got a few, oh, here's Kim. Wow, oh boy, this is great. Hi, Kim. Oh, she's connecting Johnny. Hi, Kim. Hi. How you doing? Happy New Year. Happy New Year, I'm awake. Yay, <laughs> I know, <laughs> I'm so tired before this. The, the first, my opening line was, uh, welcome to this, blah, blah, blah. I'm John Hess and I can't wait for this to be over. So I wanna go to bed, uh, <laughs> but uh, that's okay. We're having a good time. How are you today? What are you doing? I just made a drink that my dad sent me uh, the recipe of. Uh, called the Dusk Till Dawn, and it's bourbon and cinnamon syrup and chocolate bitters. Ooh. So it's like a very complex old fashioned. And it's good. It's too syrupy, but the aftertaste is maybe the best of any drink I've ever had. 
because it's just chocolate. It's like drinking melted chocolate at the end. Yeah. Yeah. So how are you? What are you up to? I'm drinking a CBD drink. Mm -hmm. So it's just a regular one. But I did start um I did start drinking again. I did not make it a year without alcohol. I started yep. drinking on September 18th. So I've been meaning to get you to make me uh, a cocktail since then. Yeah, I can definitely make you a cocktail and bring it to you. I've been doing that. You know, I, I put on, I, I, I don't know if I sanitize, but I wash them with, they're new and I wash them with soap and water and I wear a mask when I make the cocktail and everything is like wiped down. I think it, it should be safe. Uh, and I don't have COVID, so uh, I think. Yeah, let me know. I'm, I, I can come by anytime. I'm, I'm moving in the middle of January, but other than that, I'm fine. Ooh, okay. Yeah, so, what, but you know, that's, hang on, my counter is sticky. You, 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 you talk, you, you say Well, something. I only stopped by for a minute because I had to reread the email and I didn't realize that this was um, being live streamed. So I'm not gonna stay for that long. Got it, I, I didn't realize that Okay, that's my bad. Yep, this is technically a comedy show, but it's really more of a, I don't fucking know. No, 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 you, you said it in the email. I just don't read emails, so, but we can talk like there's nobody here. Is anybody watching? Uh, yes. Uh, oh, Lester Pips, who's another, so there, oh, there are a total of seven people watching. Lester Pips uh, is another host of a, no, he is. He, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that, Lester. Um, Lester Pips is another real host of a uh, of a pack theater show, and he just said, "Stay." Yeah, Lester, I'm real sorry. I'm I'm really I'm sorry about that. Lester hosts an apocalypse doomsday prepping show, uh, and he I mean, if you want to survive the apocalypse, folks. Actually, I do it. want to. I that's on my to do list is to get a um, get my ready pack and then like do one of those. <laughs> sorry, I don't have. <laughs> Here, I will tell you one thing. So about a couple of weeks ago, I took my hair and put it in a ponytail, just like upside down, but I got too excited with it. And I cut off a huge chunk and I accidentally left like, they're not bangs, they're just really short hairs that don't go anywhere. I ruined my hair. Luckily, I'm not gonna see anybody for like several months, but I ruined it. Yeah, what, what are you talking about? Everything is over starting tomorrow morning. Oh yeah, um, I thought it was over November 4th was that, when everything ended. Yeah, that too. <laughs> um, yeah, oh, oh well. Uh, yeah, Lester says get on his email list, hit up his publicist at Ezra Partier on Instagram if you wanna learn how to survive the apocalypse. Uh, but I agree with you. I need to get my earthquake kit set up. I do not have any of that. I'm really like, I'm really playing with you know, fire, earthquakes, everything California has to offer at this point. Yeah. I, yeah. Um, it's How's the air quality uh, now for you? Mm, okay, so I've been, this is the third night, knock on wood, without smoke. I feel like a new person. Good, good. Uh, it's going to happen again. So for anybody watching who doesn't know, I don't know. Uh, my neighbors love fires and have them all the time, whether it be in their yards or chimneys or apparently a new barbecue that must use the smokiest wood in the world. And I have terrible windows, so I can't breathe most nights. It sucks. I'm so sorry. That sounds awful. It's okay. I finally found someone to come help me seal my windows. This is quality stuff you were talking about. Let's just catch up. I haven't seen you in a while. You're like, no. Good. What is it? Your lighting is very good. Thank you. I just have a panel light. It took me a while to set it up where it wasn't blinding me. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, because the, the lighting in the kitchen is, is abysmal. But uh, that's why we have extra light. Um, I'm okay. You know, it's, it's, uh, that's what this show is. It's just, we're just, it's just a conversation. I'm teaching people to make drinks. And then at 11 p.m., uh, we've got another show called the Anti-Influencer Hour. Um, and I will be gone. Um, but if you're watching now, you should stick around for that one. Uh, but you know, I had a dream last night that I had bangs. <laughs> I did. Well now, okay, I wanna hear about your dream, but I will say that, and I might be wrong still, but I never understood why women would wear their hair like this, like up on top of their head. Yeah. I thought it was just like a bad fashion choice, which it might still be, but it's because of the short hairs. 
It's the only way I can get all my hair back. Obviously, I didn't do a good job. Okay, what was your dream? Well, I thought it was the international sign for I'm doing laundry today, but... Um, oh, yeah. Uh, um, but uh, the dream, I don't remember much other than, I think it was like shortly before I woke up. Oh, wait, I got a notification. Oh, it's, it's uh, somebody liked my tweet. Um, uh, are you eating marshmallows? Yeah, I thought it was... I thought I was buying hot chocolate, but instead I bought hot chocolate flavored marshmallows. <gasps> cool. So I'm trying them with you right now. Are they good? No. Okay. Yeah, that's too bad. Yeah, um, it tastes like what you would imagine stevia tastes like in chocolate form. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put right. it down now. Wait, I'm not going to finish it. Now? Hi. Welcome. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, John. What are we Happy making? Year, Alyssa. We're just, we're just kind of hanging out. I'm, I made a little drink. What do you got going on? I got a little red wine. Lovely. Lovely. I, Hi, I, Alyssa. Hey, Kim. I don't know if we've ever met in person, but hello. I virtually. feel like we have. So hello, regardless. <laughs> wonderful. Uh, I was just talking about a dream I had last night where I had bangs. Oh my God. They were beautiful. I oh yeah, like, tell the rest of the dream. Was that the whole yeah, dream? Tell me the rest of the dream. I looked like, I looked like Freddie Mercury in the, in like the sort of early seventies. Okay. With like the long, longish, like shoulder length hair. And I used to have shoulder length hair, but it was okay. awful. It looked like I was I didn't wearing know that when. When I was in eighth grade, I, I looked like I was wearing a helmet of hair and I had braces. Um, and uh, best look ever. And that's how I entered high school too. I didn't shut, I didn't sh cut my hair until- uh, This is a real comedian. This is a real how you became a comedian story. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, one of my bullies who later became my best friend in high school, go figure, uh, said to me in the hallway after a band concert, as I was walking next to my dad, John has shave your mullet. Uh, I was like, don't bully me in front of my father. That's, you don't do that. That is a new, that's a blow. Yeah. So, also, you don't shave a mullet. I mean, you, I suppose. Right, you, you can you trim could. it. Right. Right. It also wasn't a mullet. My biggest problem with bullies is when they're inaccurate. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yeah, if, if you're, you're going to get it, yeah, don't, if you're going to be mean, you, got, you better be right. Yeah. yeah. That's just, oh, peeps, some people really though. No, guy, any, uh, ugh. I was going to ask about New Year's resolutions. Is there even a point? I know. I was thinking of that because it's like, I think the only thing, the only thing is just like, I guess we learned this year to really just try to be adaptable and not get, you know, stuck on anything and just be like, okay, this is the new thing for now. So I have to work with this instead of like, it's just a classic grief thing, but I feel like at the beginning of this, I was very just like, oh, I can't wait till things go back to normal. And it's like, that's not really productive versus just like, okay, this is now it. And we don't know what it's going to look like eventually, but yeah. Yeah, that's right. Like, how, how am I doing? Uh, what can I do today? Like once we started doing park hangs, I feel like that was really fun because it was like, okay, this is us adapting versus, you know, like waiting for a bar to open or something. Right. This is a way where we can all, you know, guarantee that we're far enough apart and wearing a mask and still maintaining some sense of togetherness. Totally. Yeah. Kim, remind me, are you in LA or are you in New York City? LA. When did you move here? Oh boy, um, last year. Oh God. So you got here like right before things hit? Right before, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, that <laughs> sucks. Yeah, it's been- uh, Where are you living? I'm in Los Feliz. Nice. Yeah, I'm around people, but it's been, lately I've been like asking for like LA suggestions from people and people are like, how do you not know this? And I'm like, cause I learned nothing before <laughs> like things closed down. It takes forever though. Yeah. I like don't yeah. know, I like don't know basic LA things to the point where I'm like, okay, I need to find a way in this COVID world to like go out and learn. Cause people are like, what about this place? And I'm like, I don't, I don't know what that is. I don't know. Oh my God. No, it's really hard. It took me a year to figure it out normally. Never mind. Like I've been to like two places this year. So in a pandemic, it's tough to get to know one place. 
Alyssa, speaking of places, you're moving, right, Alyssa? I have moved. Oh, you already have. Wow. My stuff is on the floor. I have. I should put it away, but we were moving all day today, so we're just kind of like and you tomorrow. Jo you joined the, the thing that I'm doing? What? You joined the, sh the thing that I'm doing? Whatever we want to call it? Thank yes. you. That's, so kind. That's so kind. Oh, of course. I, I was I was so I was so excited to see the email. Thanks for inviting me. Oh my god! Of course, I wanted to you know email a bunch of people. I, I honestly though I, I think I confirmed with them that I would do the show minutes before I compiled like the email, and I'm gonna stand better. And uh, I expected no one to show up, uh, and I thought it was just gonna be me <laughs> drinking alone. <laughs> no, no, that would be a good. That would be a very proper end to 2020, as if no one showed up. For yeah. sure. Yeah. So I am going to grab uh, my bottle of champagne, though, and uh, teach everybody how to make a champagne cocktail. I can't okay. wait. I can't wait. Uh, so, Alyssa, I'll tell you why he does that. I gave up alcohol for 2020. <laughs> my New You're the Year bravest resolution. person I've ever met. <laughs> What'd you say? You are the bravest person I've ever met. You moved to LA and you gave up alcohol right as the pandemic. I was like, I'm. I'm gonna like improve my health. I'm gonna learn to go out and be social without drinking. Oh no. I'm gonna, you know, one year of no drinking, great. Three months in pandemic hits and I'm like, no, I can still, I can do what, but whatever. It's a, it's a long story. Basically the day Ruth Bader Ginsburg died, I started drinking again. <laughs> I think that that I she would have wanted that. I think that's a very fair time to come back. Yeah. <laughs> Throw it up to the State of the Union wine drunk. You can do whatever you want. Yes. You you what? You said the State of the Union? She came to the State of the Union wine drunk at least she once. She did? Yeah, she fell asleep. And <laughs> was like I had like Justice, yeah. I, I don't know, one of the other justices had a, had a bottle of um, some fancy ass wine and, and I was a little, little whatever, uh, uh, tipsy. I don't, I don't know the quote, but she's, she's, a, she's a real one. That's for sure. Nice. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we have, what do we need to make this cocktail? Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, well, I'm gonna make a French 75, which is gin and lemon juice. And I think people, I'm looking it up because I'm a fraud. I think some people, put, <laughs> I think some people put simple syrup in theirs, but I don't think it needs it because of the yeah, champagne. especially the champagne, because I feel like champagne's kind of sweet. Yeah, I mean, unless you're drinking something specifically dry, which, eh. But, um, oh yeah, they say half an ounce each of lemon and simple syrup. Eh. Oh, and only one ounce of gin? Nah. <laughs> no, we're, we're doing a remix, okay? Yeah. yeah, because, well, especially because this is the New Year's cocktail. This is typically, I think, a brunch cocktail, but not, not tonight. No, 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 tonight, yeah, we're, yeah. Yeah, so anyway, here's my glass. Can't see it yet because of the frame. We got some new ice. Oh, this is how I run a show. Uh, it's just wonderful. Oh, I gotta wash. It. I am the consummate host. I want to host. I actually a find this view of your kitchen rather soothing. Oh. It is so soothing, Kim. I agree. Thank you. I mean, I you in it too. I mean, the whole the whole set. Yeah. <laughs> Thank Thanks so much. Uh, I'm moving, and, and I was telling Kim I'm moving soon as well. And no way. Yeah, I don't know where I'm gonna host the show because my new kitchen's not, that's not where I put the gin. Uh, my new kitchen's not gonna be as uh, um, Fancy schmancy? Well, no, it'll be nice, but I think, but it's not, uh, like right now I'm, I'm open, like there are two sides to this counter. Um, and the next one is gonna be up against a wall. Yeah, uh, this is a very good filming setup you have. I may have Where's your new place? Uh, it's sort of just close enough to Los Feliz that a few months after I move, I'll start saying Los Feliz, but it's technically Little Armenia. Got it. Cool. Yeah. So. Where in Little Armenia? It's not, it's not my old complex, right? <laughs> no, not, I've been there. It's not that. Um, Wait, okay. did you have a bad situation, Kim? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what happened? That was really my first few months of living to LA was living in that place. Um, in short... I'm trying to figure out the shortest way. The list goes on and on, but the real the lyric, the real clincher was when they redid the tar roofs. Oof. Our whole complex 
after they told me when I moved in that all the roofs had just been replaced, which I don't even know why they decided to tell me that. That's a whole other thing. But I basically couldn't live there for nine days because it was like impossible to breathe. <gasps> In a pandemic, like once the pandemic had no, started? no, no. This was this was right. This was oh, okay, okay, okay. Still bad, still bad. Yeah, yeah. No, I moved here. So I moved here. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no. let's get back to John's drink. But basically, oh. also the one other thing I'll say is the place I lived, the electricity was so old. I didn't have a circuit breaker. I had those fuses that they burn out, and you have to unscrew and replace with a new. I one. didn't even know those still existed. I learned so much about electricity living in this apartment. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, that sounds stressful. It was, and my, um, uh, actually, wait, I'll, I won't say that. Yeah, John, so take us through what to do here. Okay, okay. so you yeah. come. Oh, there are fireworks everywhere. Uh, so uh, I just put two ounces of gin and half an ounce of lemon juice in this shaker, uh, and I, I smacked it real good. And uh, I would normally think about, again, we talked about it. I'm not going to put the sugar in. So I'm just going to shake it for like 15-ish seconds till the glass or till the tin is frosty. And uh, it'll be fun. Oh, till the tin is frosty. I've got bored. Give it another uh, nice little smack. There's not a lot in there, so you don't need to shake it like crazy. Got my strainer. Oh, that's a nice pro thing to have. Well, yeah, and it only costs like a couple of bucks at Bed Bath & Beyond. A little coupe glass. Oh, oh yeah. You got so much room in there. Whatever shall we do? Well, it's not that big of a mystery, but we're gonna top it off with a <laughs> little champagne. Oh, nice. Happy New Year. Oh, Happy New Year. Happy that New was year. great. Cheers. Cheers, L'chaim. L'chaim. Mm-hmm. Yeah. it be better. Indeed. Yeah, that's the shit right there. Mm. Oh, that's good. And I'll tell you what it doesn't need. Anything to sweeten it up. It does not need simple, no. I think, I think no cocktail does. Like, even margaritas. I love when they're not sweet. I agree with you. Agreed. I think you but can- But that very much, I feel like that is, a, it's a gin 75, right? French 75. French 75. So I'm pretty sure we served that many years ago at a jazz club I've worked at. And I associate it with, uh, or yeah, waitress stat. Um, I associate it with like old Italian ladies. Uh, <laughs> totally. Yeah. Like, it's what I aspire to be. So. Me too. Honestly, except for the perfume, good life. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. I mean, you get you don't have to worry about your furniture because it's wrapped in plastic. Uh, I mean, yeah, e everything can have sauce. You don't have to worry about that. Oh God, there's this. This was one a very touristy place, so these were like straight out of Italy, Italian grandmas. What was it called? Was it on the Upper West? No, Ooh. it was um, Blue Note. Don't know it. Oh wait, uh, I have uh, comments in, in West the, Village. West Village. I got comments in the chat room. Hi, Sharon. It's good to see you. That's cool. Hey, they're, they're drinking French 75s as well. Oh! What a fun coincidence. Because you know what it is? It's a fun way to like kind of punch up some champagne. What's in it again? Can you go over that? Yeah, gin, lemon juice, and champagne. That's it. Well, it's perfect. Gin, lemon juice, champagne. I love that. Yeah, that sounds really good. I have lemon juice is such an under... I mean, it goes in savory things. It goes in sweet things. What lemon did you say? Lemon yeah. juice. What a it's kind of a real jack of all trades. It is. I I mean, you, for me, you can't beat lime. Um, and that's why I think lemon is underrated because I don't use it as often. And when I do, I'm like, oh right. So yes. Yeah. Yes. I um what was I gonna say? I, I keep looking at the Twitch stream on uh uh on my phone to look at the chat room and it looks like somebody else is talking. Um, so I think I'm interrupting someone, but I invented a drink that's sort of a riff on the French 75 that's made with all these ingredients plus some hom uh, some pomegranate juice and some honey syrup. And I call it the Mazel Tov cocktail. Okay, so now someone was just talking about it didn't need to be sweetened and he yet here he is adding two sweeteners. Yeah, well, Better so the 
pomegranate, pom well, but so the pomegranate's a little bit tart and the honey, both of those are like significant to the Jewish people. And so for the name. We make the exception. So we make the exception. Yeah, but I agree with you. It's super sweet. What? Pomegranate isn't super sweet. No, it's not. You're right. It's more tart than sweet. It's not that sweet. And I think that like simple syrup is just that. It's a simple sweetener, but honey is a richer flavor. Yeah. And so that's that's why I think I, oh God. That's yeah, why you're, I think. you're confused. So wait, yeah. remind me, did you have you're ice still in the frame? Did you no, have I know, ice in the saying. glass as well? Did I what? Did you have ice in the glass as well? And then yeah, that's you, why you use the strainer? Yeah, you shake it with ice, you strain it, and you could even double strain it because a little bit of ice chip got in here. Um, I see. Hmm. I never realized that. And that makes it cold quickly? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a great little, uh, little quarantine. I didn't expect to, like, you know, do the, do the regular quarantine thing. I thought we were just going to hang. But, yeah, so we shake <laughs> we, we shake drinks that need to be chilled quickly and aerated, which typically means um, something with either like egg or cream or citrus more commonly. Mm. Um, anything that's more spirit for you that should come out velvety like a Manhattan or a martini should be stirred. Interesting. Oh, I love martinis. I should, I should buy the ingredients to make one. I feel like I miss going to a restaurant and ordering a martini. I could make a martini next. I wasn't gonna, but I could. Uh, Kim, if you don't have any, well, I don't want to mess with your menu. If you have a different item up next. I, I think I was going to make, I think I set out to make four cocktails tonight, but I can only make three because the pomegranate juice, I think went bad. So uh, <laughs> that's what you get for making it fresh folks. Um, I was going to make a, uh, a, an undead gentleman next, which is a riff on a zombie, a classic tiki cocktail that's made with overproof rum and it'll get you um a little bit more fucked up than one needs to be <laughs> uh, i'm in this i'm in it for whatever you want John i knows. agree i'm super tired when i signed on and i'm going in and out here um <laughs> but i'm gonna i'm gonna keep trying to participate i might ask you to repeat yourself though please, please do i love to talk um the uh, uh, the, the other thing I said in the email, where nobody has to stay, uh, if they don't feel like it at all, or, um, I love that you guys are here. I think, I think Corey <laughs> No, no, was, you're not keeping me. I will leave when I need to leave. But if I ask you, <laughs> I, I think, if I ask you to repeat yourself, it's because I'm, like, slightly... <laughs> it's because you've put her to sleep with your it's words. because you literally put me to sleep. <laughs> yeah. There's no good way to say how tired I am. No, well, that's, I was telling you before, the first thing I said when I started this show was, I'm John Hess and I can't wait for this to be over. Uh, I, <laughs> we're having a great time, but I'm exhausted. Um, when I get in my own, that was very, when I get in my own talk a show, that's how I'm going to start every show. It's hmm. a very honest, it's probably what everyone would want to say at the top of every show. It's like, yeah. hey, I'm here. <laughs> Can't wait for it to be done. I hear Drew Barrymore is already lighting her studio on fire. Uh, <laughs> it's it's almost as I, look it, wonderful. She I have nothing bad to say, but I mean, like she's a Hollywood actor. Like uh, it's not a talk show host. I don't know. What did she? I, I haven't watched other than clips, but she seems to be having a lot of fun. It's a very joyful show, from what I can see. She's got like a bananas comedy club. It, it looks it looks very fun. I it's very fun. I just I love, watch when we like know somebody on it and I see that. Yeah. I love seeing Jason on it. That's really fun. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Like I said, nothing against or, or even about the show. Just like it's an odd situation. So good for her. <laughs> show us a martini. Okay. I have to finish. You know what? I can do two yeah, things. Yeah, no, finish that. I'll be back. I'm here. Finish, I gotta... finish it. Also question. I'm going to throw these out unless you also want to try them. No, okay. thank you. I'm throwing them out. I hate to say it, but yeah. Oh, they smell. <laughs> is it what is hot chocolate marshmallow? Ugh, yes. No, that's no fun. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna uh, I'm gonna chug this because it's really easy to drink. Oh, it looks so good. Yeah, it's too easy to drink. I'm gonna get um. Excuse me. I'm gonna get my martini glass. I'm gonna put it in the freezer so it can chill while I make the drink. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that on the floor. Hey, you just stay here and you know talk to the people, Kim. Hello, people. So that's I did give up drinking for uh, eight and a half months, and um, I don't recommend it. Uh, 
<laughs> I will. I mean, I. Oh, oh, Corey's here! Yay! Where? Oh, in the waiting room. Here he comes. Corey! Wait a minute. Oh, Corey! Yay! There he is. Oh, yeah. my God. He needs a tie every time. Oh. No less. How we doing? Wow! Oh, tag my president. Um, it's because you're wearing a tie. I don't know. Anyone who wears a tie can be my president. Hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, that, I just scared Alyssa. I was that aggressive she of a move. Ran away. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's cool. I'm going to wash this because we're making a martini. There she is. <laughs> <laughs> we're making a martini as per my request, Corey. You got, you, you, yes. Nice work. Thank nice you. Work. Yeah. Well, this, this had bourbon and chocolate bitters in it. So you can't, uh, no, you must, you simply must wash it out. Yeah. Now, fun fact, I am munching on a bowl of olives. Oh, very on brand. I Are like those it. Kalamata olives? It's, it's something great. much sadder than that. And I'm almost too embarrassed no. to even say what it is. They're no. just black pitted olives, <laughs> like a 95 cent can. <laughs> oh, you just went with the can. All right, honestly. Sorry, I went right with the can. It worked, it worked. That's the best part of the pizza. That's like, that's some purist shit. I feel like that's some like, you're like, I don't need no fuss, no muss. Don't give me That's any... it, that's it. We've gone too far with the olives. There's nothing wrong with the can. Agreed. I don't need a brine. Please leave I don't the brine, need a brine out of this. I don't need rosemary. I don't, no, I don't need these to be slippery. I, I need them a little bit dry. And... <laughs> yeah, just so they catch, just so they catch a little bit on the back. Yeah, I understand. The ones in the can are not slippery? No, they're like, they're, they're just kind of, they're, they're, just, they're, they're olives in the traditional sense. Yeah, they're like what you get when you order a salad from a pizza place and it comes with one tomato and one olive. Mm -hmm. Maybe not even. That might be giving them too much credit. I know yeah. the texture. Yeah. Someone had to work to get the slipperiness out of that. That's it. Someone <laughs> had to work to make them less tasty. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. This is, I'm, I'm a little thrown. This is the very first martini I've made, I think, ever without olives. I just don't have any in my fridge. Oh my God, and I have too many. What a, what a, what a, Let's what a travesty. I know. I feel like olives is like a very New Year's Eve thing. Am yeah, I wrong? Yeah, true, it kind of is. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know that, is that, cause I know, in, I, I don't know anything, but I, <laughs> I do have, uh, I do know that some Italians do eat grapes. Yes, maybe that's what you're thinking. Similar shape, I'll be right back. Yeah. yeah. In my place, I'll leave. You know what, I might have one olive. Are you about to bring? I was trying to leave you with the olives, but I can't do it. So you get I hope I hope she brings back the saddest looking grapes we've ever seen. In okay, life. all hope is not is is not lost. I found two olives. Hey. Yeah, yeah, that's good. You know, I I always say that a good martini should be made with three olives because a good martini, like a good story, has a beginning, middle, and end. You can drink one after the first couple of sips. And then as they become uncovered by the cocktail, as you sip it, you eat another one. It's a little snack. So. I like that. Usually if there are olives in my drink, I eat them all immediately. Well, yeah, that, which is also fine because again, it's, it's a little snack. You can also garnish a, a thing with um, a martini. Oh boy. With a, you can also garnish a martini with a, a twist of lemon, which I just think is nonsense. I agree. I think that's just nuts. I like I like when they put anything savory. Yeah. Do you ever or I'll pick have... one there over the lemon. Yeah. Do you ever do the is that what you just said? Onion? Pickle. Oh onion. No, but that was in Queen's Gambit. That's how I know about that. A cocktail onion makes the you can make a martini the exact same way, but you add a cocktail onion and it turns into a Gibson. That's right. Oh, Gibson. that's what that's it right. is. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay, now I hate that I suggested this and I have to leave, but such is life. And in my, I, I, I look forward to, uh, I hope that the fans on Twitch love the drink. I'm yeah. sorry to have thrown you off. That's okay. Oh no, it's totally fine. Uh, just for, for every blah, blah, blah. I'm going to make uh, this is uh, one ounce of gin and three ounces of, nope. One ounce of vermouth and three ounces of gin. Three and that's one, it? That's it. You stir it with ice, you strain it into a chilled glass that's and you burn it with olives. Beauty of a martini is the simplicity. Oh, so simple! It's, it it really is. It, and you know. and you know that's there's a lot to be learned there, isn't there? Simplicity. Yeah. There's a lot of beauty and simplicity, and and I hope that we will all bring that into 2021. Hey. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Much love to you all. Oh. Great Much seeing love. you. Great seeing you too, Bye. Bye.
Bye. Bye. Of course. Thanks for having me. Bye. Happy New Year. All right. Well, that was fun. Uh, uh, I have a question. Yeah. I thought the garnish depended. For some reason, I thought the garnish depended on the liquor that you use, but clearly it doesn't. Can you do a gin or vodka martini with olives or onions? Uh, you cannot do a vodka martini. Oh. Yeah, it's not a thing. It's a you've stumbled you've stumbled into a trap here, Kim. I don't know. Oh no! Going. So okay. Uh, well, no, I'm excited. I like this trap because this trap is called learning. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's a horrifying trap called, oh, wow, I get to learn something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if learning was a minefield that would make even Princess Diana quiver, uh, what you've done, uh, if you, if, if learning were a minefield, that would make, uh, did, I think Heather Mills, Paul McCartney's second wife, uh, got her leg blown off by a landmine. I don't, why are we? I can do this because I'm wearing a shirt with a, I'm wearing a shirt that has a collar like that laundry commercial. <laughs> it, is, it is very heavily starched. It is a starched collar. We got, a, we got another guest uh, up in Well, wait, so you can't do a vodka martini? You cannot. Uh, hang on. Hi, Lauren. Well, Hello. Oh, wait. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm sorry. I almost never zoom on my phone. We're going to find out. It's working. Like so you're doing doing um, yeah. So you can't do a vodka martini because a vodka martini is a kangaroo. So it's not that it's not real. It's just that a martini is made with gin and it must be stirred. So that's, that, that's it. I was only joking about the minefield because I feel like I tell this to people all the time. That's great. Is that why Corey knew it, or is that knowledge separate? What? No, I, I have a little bit of, I have some limited drink knowledge, uh, some cocktail knowledge too, but also I do know this, that this is like a pet peeve uh, of John's. As far as like martinis, uh, it's a very specific drink. Um, it's, there's no need to overcomplicate it, right? John, I mean, please stop me if I'm, if I'm wrong. No, I, I love uh, this because uh, I think it's a nice testament to our friendship. I'm gonna get my glass. Yeah. Um, but no, it's oh god. Uh, exactly. You don't need to over. Um, you don't need to overcomplicate it because look at this. Nothing more elegant in the world than a nice, strong, velvety, clear, stinging cold to the last sip martini. Um, it just it really doesn't get any better than that. And uh, that's kind of all there is to it. So you know, making a dirty martini is fine. You do what you want, but. Um, you know, I always encourage people to try my martinis, uh, because they're made a little bit more classically. My grandfather taught me his recipe, um, and he learned the recipe from the, my grandfather was, a, was an English, prof or, I'm sorry, oh boy, a German professor, and he, uh, learned it from his colleague, uh, Jay Saunders Redding, the, uh, acclaimed, uh, uh, academic. I, he, he's quoted in the People's History of the United States, that's the only reason I know uh, that he's acclaimed but uh so this is our martini and imagine if we had a third goddamn olive how yeah look how incomplete that i uh, it's it, i yeah. roast that glass though because yeah. you actually can drink from you have it have all the right glasses for all the right drinks i uh, so some of these are, are glasses that i've bought on my own but some of my barware i will say i have a very supportive uh mother of, of my hobby um, because she knows that, you know, uh, it's not only an investment in my hobby, but an investment in her enjoyment when she comes to visit. Yep. Uh, so Lauren, uh, what are you, what are you doing? I thought I saw you sipping something. I have, so I was in the comments earlier. Uh, mm -hmm. I have hot cocoa with butterscotch schnapps. Hello. Ho, ho, ho is right. <laughs> I'm Santa. Wow. Oh, it sounds good. Um, it's good. And I put a little marshmallow in there because oh. I ain't basic. And I even burnt it because I'm also not good at roasting marshmallows. Did you, you got a, you got a gas stove? Yes. Nice. Wait, um, would it be better with an electric? I don't think uh, it would. I think it's, oh. I think it would be impossible to get yeah. an authentic char on that marshmallow with a, yeah. with, with an electric. I would have to just do a lighter. Yeah. Just yeah. like college. Oh yeah! Oh wow! Yeah. yeah, yeah. Man, you know some people, and it's very sad. I'm not making a joke at their expense, but you know some some people uh, using lighters to light up uh, heroin on spoons, and some people using lighters. Oh, to I'm doing that next. 
Okay, great, great, nice, cool. Nice. Yeah, that's the next show on this. Oh, it's week. part of a show. Oh, it's yeah. the, the anti-influencer slash heroin hour. Yeah, like uh, I'm not an influencer because you shouldn't be influenced by someone doing heroin on a Twitch show. That's yeah, true. Yeah, that's like all are, kinds of roads led down a bad path. Yeah, yeah, that's I'm true. I'm definitely not being serious here. If anybody in the comments can tell me where to get Quaaludes, I definitely <laughs> not. <laughs> uh, I can actually, I can tell you. Um, you go, uh, I would say maybe like 1975 uh, mm -hmm. at, a, at a Led Zeppelin concert. Okay. Uh, so there will be Quaaludes. Nice. Okay. Um, we did mention the Queen's Gambit earlier. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure she was those were quaaludes she was taking, right? I yeah. thought tranquilizers. Good, good for me. I think it's the same well, thing. Are, quaaludes are, quaaludes? are tranquilizers from oh. what I understand. Yeah. I don't know. No, no, I mean they might they probably are. I don't know. I have no idea. Corey is our resident martini and a pills expert. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, I also yeah, I shouldn't look. I, I didn't I have never taken quaaludes. I've never taken them. <laughs> Yeah. Yet. Yet, yet, yeah, until I can get my hands on that time travel machine. And then I'm going back to take Quaaludes. And you could that. also go back to, um, oh God, <laughs> what was the banking movie with DiCaprio? Uh, the Wolf of Wall Street. Yes, he does take Quaaludes. There, we got another guest in. Welcome. Hey. Hi, Sam. Oh, she can't hear us yet. Ha, ha, hi. There hi, she is. Oh, oh my God. Hello, <laughs> Sam. I'm glad that entrance was was just as awkward as mine because i was just like God, <laughs> fucking no. i gotta say though i feel like uh kim lauren and i should just go to a breakout room because Corey and 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 sam are just dressed to the nines oh i the uh, reason you know I I'm, like, me. I am Obviously, I'm, on <laughs> I'm sorry to the two of you i didn't mean to throw you under the bus with me i just like you know they're well, no, see, I can, if I'm bottom halfing it, then it's just sweatpants I'm below. I'm always bottom halfing it. It's full, it's full sweatpants. It's just <laughs> joggers. Some, some good, some good quality joggers. I cannot believe that I wore jeans for this. Uh, I could not to show you, but I'm wearing a full ball gown on the bottom. Okay. Yeah, see, I could feel it the same. Yeah. I was like, I'm just gonna throw on a gown real quick. <laughs> I wore this because I figured Sam would be dressed up. That was my thinking was like, John might be dressed up, but I know Sam's gonna be dressed up. So I knew. I knew. And almost, that's what took me so long. <laughs> I almost I almost wore my dinner, my velvet dinner jacket, but I just ugh, I don't know, I'm tired. I almost wore my dinner too, but then I didn't throw up. <laughs> you guys, I only threw up once this year. Hey, Mazel! Oh, wow. wow, congratulations! That's very impressive. And it was when I thought I had COVID, but it turns out I didn't. <laughs> you oh, were just uh, anyway. Double congratulations! I don't know what I had. I don't know. But good for you. I yeah. mean, you know, not not having COVID. I can't remember if I threw up this year. Yeah, it's mm. it's like a weird thing to think about. If you're like, did I make it the whole year without throwing up? So I, I feel like I didn't. Did. I definitely threw up. A lot. I did. I must have. I uh, did. Well, Corey, I did. you had. I, just you have I did. I had food poisoning earlier this year. Yeah. Um, I, well, I started this year off with food poisoning, missing a show. You missed my show, and that's why, yes. And that's why I knew that you had food poisoning. Yeah, yeah. I was like, wait a second. I was supposed to do uh, your show. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, it's fine. It's just funny. Yeah. Um, uh, that was that was okay. A, now I'm taking my leave, but it's always fun. Kim, thank you so much for stopping. Bye, Bye. It's great seeing you. Good to see you. Happy New, New Year. Year. Happy New Year. Go long. Uh, absolutely wonderful to see you. You uh, too, all of you. Um, I will hopefully see you soon. Yes, 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 yes. Next year. Uh -huh. um, I do want to point out to the uh, the people viewing because we do we do have viewers. I can confirm that uh, that I, I have mixed up a lot of words this evening. I'm not really that drunk. I'm um, actually no. You're just a mixologist. Oh God! Oh, um, she did it. Was, see, Bye. See, that's what I came for. See, Sam, we needed you this whole time. We needed you this whole fucking <laughs> really time. Really did. Uh, <laughs> I'm also, I'm very grateful to everybody who, who's shown up so far. I mean, from Kim and Alyssa and Corey and Lauren and Sam, uh, it's been really nice. Uh, I spent maybe 15-ish minutes 
uh, kind of just talking to nobody, uh, which is fine. I expect, I, oh God, I expected to spend 60 minutes talking to nobody uh, because I sent out a, a please join my Zoom email uh, at the 11th hour, but uh, you guys really came through and this is a lot of fun. I just was a, I, I, I just hopped over from a Zoom full of old magnet theater people. Oh, Aww. I got an email at the like 11th hour from Hal Phillips, uh, Elissa oh. Phillips' his brother, um, uh, that he and Emily were doing like a Zoom thing. And I was like, ah, I wish I could, but I'm setting up, I'm stacking books for my laptop to be on so that I'm at a re reasonable height for this show. Also, you shaved uh, your all your quarantine face. It's gone. Here. <laughs> I have had a, a, a myriad of um, different looks this year. This is the year of three mustaches. And um, uh, now they're all the gone. The tiniest calendar, right? That's yeah, I think so. Sounds like a good Friday night for me. Eh? <laughs> Drink that. Yes. Drink your butterscotch snaps right now. I will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, I, uh, I recently read a, a tweet that referred to a mustache as a womb broom, Ooh. and uh, I have not stopped thinking about it. A womb broom. I See, I don't like that. I like that. Just because I it, just think a, a mustache isn't supposed to get all the way to the womb. Something right, that's exactly right. Wrong. It's you're you're not you're not giving head correctly if you're touching the womb. No, you are no, literally you giving your head. <laughs> yeah. Uh, trying to think of what we could I think how we could make reverse crown anatomi anatomically correct. Yeah. Uh, um. What? I just to ask you what lady. you're doing up there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, it, 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 there, I don't. I mean, you're wearing someone as a hat at that point. That's <laughs> really it's, it's like in Mr. Magoo when he gets the turkey on his head. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes, I prefer that reference over the, is, uh, isn't there a friend's reference? The Joey. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. what first popped into my brain. Yeah. Popped into my brain as I was saying, Mr. Magoo. But I like, I like the Mr. Magoo reference. They're both funny, and they're both really they're both put the you and Mr. Magoo. <laughs> it's, I mean, like, uh, clitor whiskers. I don't know. Ugh, see, I can't. There's not much that works. Uh, I, I look, I. Mm think that you had great, great facial hair this the, uh, these past few months. Uh, are you thinking of uh, doing something new for the new year? Or is this like clean slate? What are we talking here? I don't think- Thank you for I'm asking that. I think what I'm going to do in 2020 <laughs> <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> uh, sorry. No. Sorry. Lauren. No, Lauren. Honestly, honestly, Lauren, yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm really grateful. I'm facial here for it. <laughs> Um, I, I mean, I figure if we couldn't guillotine the rich, we could guillotine my facial hair. Um, hey, but, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I mean, oh, right. Uh, we're on. There's we're on so a, much time left to guillotine the rich. I know, but just so not much time. We've all. Not but this year. They're only going to be guillotines but. for a while. Then they're going to grow up and be adults. And they'll be uh, Ger Jerry Giat, uh, when Jerry Ethic, something or other. <laughs> you, uh, broke, you broke him. This is my, yeah, apparently I'm incapable of making puns as we get to 2021. But. Uh, you mean 2020 pun? Oh, yeah. Much like the testicles of a Vietnam War veteran that seemed like low hanging fruit. Yeah. But, um, but they're dropping, it's that time of year. That's. That's true. No, this it's quite the opposite. Oh, this yeah, they're ascending. This is Those. when the balls drop, I thought. Oh, it's when the yeah. ball drops, but in the winter, balls tend to uh, uh, rise. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know if uh, our viewers know this about the male anatomy. I hate where this is gone. All I was trying to say is I might grow another beard. I don't intend to stay clean shaven. Um, people... Yeah, I, I don't know. It's not a terrible look, and I, I always forget. You know, I get a, get a bit of a shade of punum, but you got uh, a beautiful nice punum. 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 Yeah, you 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 got the, you got the nice you got the nice face. Yeah, thank you. you yeah. Got the, so and 
NJB face. I had to put those letters in the right order. And for some reason, it was a challenge. You got the Because an NB day is something completely different. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Are you saying nice Jewish boy? It's nice yes. Jewish boy. Yes. Right. Yeah, but yeah, NBJ yeah, is different. Yeah. Um, I, I caught on, Lauren. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I love it so much. That's so nice. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. You got the nice Jewish boy face. Come on. Hey, you got the nice Jewish boy face. Thank yeah. you. Mom, you also, you so when I when I got on the show the other night uh, with Ezra, my first thought when I saw your face was you look like Jimmy Kimmel. Thank you. you uh, I, I have heard that uh, so wow. many times. Um, really? It's in the eyes. It's so, it's also just I've known you for so fucking long that I just I can't see you as anybody other than John S. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I, so I feel similar. Well, yeah. So I think when I have when I have the scruff or or a, or a slightly short beard, it's a little bit clearer, but it's definitely clearer in the eyes. So people have been telling me that since 2013. And actually, I worked at Jimmy Kimmel Live for a few years, and I mentioned that casually to some coworkers, like not meaning anything by it, just like <laughs> offhanded. And nobody there saw it because they see him every day. So they know exactly what he looks like. He's also quite tall and I'm uh, five, seven. So, um, you know, nobody there agreed. And I don't necessarily think I look like him, but I get, I appreciate that. Cause like, it's fun to hear when, if he, yeah, if you he's, look, enough to talk he's to a him. handsome feller. He is. Why did I say thank you? It, you also, it's got a lot to do with just, you have stoner eyes. You have stoner eyes, both of you. Thank you. I this Wait, is me? both of hell. No, no, no uh, John and Jimmy. Jimmy. Well, yeah, yeah. We, 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 you, uh, you two also have stoner eyes, by the way. I am from Colorado, bro. So, I have not even smoked weed tonight. What's wrong with me? So I want to just make this a uh, uh, real quick transition. Uh, as some of you know, this uh, today marks exactly one calendar year since I was last high. Mm -hmm. uh, I have successfully gone a year without getting high. I have during quarantine. Yep, I would joke to my therapist that I picked the wrong year to stop smoking weed, but um, I think I picked the right year. It was an incredible challenge. Um, I miss it. Weed is great, and it should be legalized, and people's criminal records should be uh, uh, totally, totally cleared. Oh, Kevin Dwyer is uh, showing up. Uh, this is a gentleman that I play uh, online games with. Um, but anyway, I'm really proud of myself. So that's a great way to end 2020. Yeah, Mazel Tov. Thank you so much. Uh, Kevin's almost here. Uh, I wonder if Adriana's going to be with him. These are a couple, a couple folks I play games with. Um, but the show's what? almost over. Show we got, we got just a couple minutes left. Yeah. Um, what do Kevin. we do after this? <laughs> well, I'm going to end the stream, but we can hang. I mean, you know, quarantines. You've been. We we always hang for way too long. Um, so hi guys. Welcome to the show. <laughs> oh, oh God, they, they choreographed something. That was great. That was a great uh, intro. <laughs> Dwyer and Adriana, these are my friends, Corey and Samantha <laughs> and Lauren. Um, you missed uh, a couple other folks, Kim and, and Alyssa. Well, they're awesome, but I guess they're not here, so it's not that big a deal. They're um, still awesome, though. You can always watch the restream That's after true. midnight. Wait, did I miss Alyssa Phillips? No, it was oh, Alyssa Phillips. Oh, yeah. I <laughs> fucking love Alyssa in Paris. Like I fangirl. I met her once, and I only I just like fangirled about it instead of just having a normal conversation. And man, I should have I should have gotten on before this, and then maybe I could have fulfilled my New Year's resolution, which was have a normal conversation with Alyssa in Paris. <laughs> Not too uh, late. It was literally your last chance to get it in. If that was your New Year's resolution for last, yeah. <laughs> that's like my other resolution was stop procrastinating. Hold on, we've, we've got uh, uh, 45 seconds of the show left. Uh, so I will say real quick, uh, thank you to everyone who came on. Thank you to everyone who watched. Uh, uh, the Anti-Influencer Hour with Rachel Resnick is on next. So stick around for uh, the Pack Theater Twitch stream. Thank you so much uh, to Rachel for letting me do this. Uh, I'm John. You can find me at John has 1005 on Instagram and Twitter. Um, I post nice pictures on one and I tweet unhinged things on the other. Uh, Corey, uh, what's up? You got anything you want to plug? Uh, just burn Corey Byrne on uh, Twitter and Instagram. Uh, that it, that'd be it. Um, uh, that that anybody else? 
Uh, we'll go uh, from my screen. Sam, you got anything you want to blow? Uh, at Sam Sweets, Twitter, Instagram, Gen's going to have a new single and music video dropping in January. So mm -hmm. stay tuned for that. Hot diggity. Excellent. Lauren, what's up with you? Um, I, uh, I am at LL Cool Sharf on all the things, uh, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all that jazz. And I'm with Hot City. We got a show on Sunday night at eight, right here on this channel that maybe y'all are on. Beautiful. Uh, Dwyer and Adriana, do you guys want to, you want to say anything? I'm in hot with the plugs here, folks. You, you guys, you, we're almost, we're almost there. We're almost no, we're there. just saying Happy New Year from Chicago, man. Yeah. 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 Hey, Chicago. What's the new well, year like? You're already there. Happy we've, we've been, we've had an hour of 2021 and the water's, the water's warm. So come on in. Hey, great. We've got an hour till my balls drop. And um, <clears throat> yeah, pretty, pretty uh, we got, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching everybody. Happy new year. Uh, that's it for quarantines. We're on the fourth Wednesday of every month. Though I'm going to try to get that changed. Uh, and uh, we're going to learn how to make some cocktails together while bars are closed. So we made uh, uh, Dust Till Dawn and a French 75 and a martini tonight. Have a good one. Bye!